about to hike the Picos de Europa and we are stoked! Time to hike some mountains. It's the start of June here and it's really hard to find mountain ranges in Europe that, yeah, are not snow covered. <laughs> so here we are in somewhere in the north of Spain. Santander is what it's called. So now we're going to drive to the small town that we're staying in before we start this multi-day hike and we'll see you there. And here we are. <laughs> Still in the car. <laughs> Here's our little room. Very cute. Very neat. It's probably a mountain behind there somewhere. <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow. Where's the mountain? You were hidden yesterday, but not today. We see you. Alrighty, we've made it to the cable car. That takes us to the top of the mountain where we begin our hike. We're just gonna be parking our car in this car park for free for the next few days. The cable car is actually way, way busier than we expected. So we got here at about 10.45, but the earliest we could get on the cable car was 12.30. So definitely recommend getting here just before it opens, probably 9.30, 10 o'clock usually, so that you can get straight onto the cable car, especially with the weather being pretty temperamental today. It'd be better to be hiking in the morning while the sun is out and the sky is clear. However, because we had time to kill with waiting for the cable car, I was able to upgrade my Osprey bag and get a new bag. Liam, do you know how to read a map? I know how to read Google Maps <laughs> sometimes. Does this have live view? <laughs> what about street view? Can I see what it should be around me? <laughs> the perfect hike and treat. Hold in one hand, eat in the other. What? What would, what would you be eating with your second hand? <laughs> I didn't get a script, alright? I just said, can you just film some content of you eating a maxi bomb in a really sexy place? <laughs> well, it's at least sexy music. you got the brief right. Are now beginning the hike and that's it let's do this let's hike from pebble to snow at this stage. Unfortunately, the snow hasn't passed like we thought it might have. <laughs> really hard to find mountain ranges in Europe that, yeah, are not snow covered, are not snow covered, are not snow covered. Alrighty, we have not brought adequate <laughs> snow hiking gear. <laughs> so we're gonna get to the top of this hill and reassess 
what's over the next edge. And if it's all covered in snow, we'll probably just call it quits on getting to this refugio tonight and go back and stay in town. Uh, but if it's not too covered in snow, we'll continue on. From here, the way to the refugio is just up this wall of snow and you can see everyone's footsteps like back and forth. So we're not gonna make that in time before the sun sets. So we're gonna turn around and head back and do another just day hike tomorrow instead of the multi-day hike. Ain't that right, Liam? Man, that's a small sign. <laughs> Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow home. Golden, golden, golden things. Spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird wings. Golden, I'll follow him. Golden, golden, golden things. Gold hair, gold rings. Feet step over splinters of the moon.
right, we are now goat keepers and we are shepherding the goats home. same clothes and we're hiking the same trail but it is a new day we're hiking back to our car today after staying in a very small town and we had a lovely meal and a lovely sleep and now we're hiking back out uh, yeah we're not huge fans of hiking hike out trails because it feels a little bit like this <laughs> But given the weather and the, the lack of passing through certain mountains to get to where we need to get to, it's a pretty good alternative. And if you only have a few days, I think this trail is definitely one of the most scenic ones by far. So we're definitely glad we, we've been able to see it. So now let's go see our goat friends and keep on walking. Ooh. 